Are y'all ready for this? This weather right here will put you in that mood, girl. Well, that didn't age well. I have some exciting news. Hello babes, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new to the channel, I wanna give you a special welcome, but of course to my babes that keep watching my content, I love you guys so much, you guys already know that, but we are always welcoming any new babes to the channel, so thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you have recently, if you haven't, click the subscribe button, also the bell so you don't miss any one of my brand new videos. You guys have been loving the long vlogs, I'm loving the long vlogs, I feel like they're so much fun and I can put like so much into them. I want to show you guys like vacation inspo because I feel like everyone's in that like vacation outfit inspo mode. Also, I'm so happy you guys are loving like the mini hauls in the vlogs. So I'm going to be doing one again today. This bodysuit from Fashion Nova that I'm wearing right now is stunning, you guys. It is so nice. It just has this little like twist knot on the side over here. I don't have any bodysuit like it. So happy with everything I have in front of me. Also, if you guys want to shop anything that I show you guys, anytime it's from Fashion Nova, even if you see it in my shorts, or my reels, I'm gonna have my link down below, so make sure you guys are shopping through there, and then I will have the product name so that you guys can look them up and easily just find them. Just make sure you're shopping through my link just to give your girl some credit, you know? So let's get started with some accessories. Everyone needs one of these bags when you are traveling. I feel like this is the more classy kind of beach bag. I don't like your typical beach bag. I like everything, as you guys know, to look super pretty. So I love that this one like is good enough to even have like your towel hanging out of it. I just loved the silhouette of it. I loved how clean it was. I loved the quality of it. You can wear this to a lunch date if you have one. Again, if you're going to be doing some walking, you still need to have some stuff with you. So I feel like you still need a decent sized bag. The next accessory, I'm going to show you guys a close up because obviously it's kind of small. But this bangle over here, I love, love, love these because this one is especially open. So you easily can like bend it open if it's like too tight to put it on. And then you can easily just like squeeze it to tighten it. I feel like the other ones are either too hard to open and close. Someone has to be helping you and they're just not like that easy, you know. It's also very comfortable because it's lightweight. And I also love the wavy pattern on it. Again, it's giving me beachy vibes. It's giving me like sand pattern type of look to it. You know when like the sand makes that pattern? It definitely gives me those vibes. This is great to dress up a dinner outfit if you're traveling on vacation. So definitely love this bangle. Definitely a must have. And they have a bunch of them. So make sure you guys check them out through my link. I'm just don't y'all be playing with me now. These wedges over here, and I always call this like wicker. Like I, I know that there's another name for it, and I always forget it every time. Let me tell you a little secret, okay? If you didn't know, if you've seen these shoes and you're like, oh hell no, I'm not walking in those. It looks like it's high, it looks like it's uncomfortable, it looks like it's a lot, but it's actually not. Look at your foot, your foot is not even arching that much, it's, it's literally just like on a platform. So that's a little hack if you didn't know about wedges, they actually don't hurt your feet at all because your entire foot is like platformed kind of up. So your foot is not arching like a typical high heel, that's why they hurt, because they're putting pressure on the front of your foot. I'm sure a lot of you know that, but I don't know, I feel like there's someone out there that's like, I didn't know that, well girl. Now you know, <laughs> better watch yourself. They are just so pretty, I am obsessed. You wanna talk about shoes? Look at these. Like, I feel like these are kind of like the shoe that you wear when your outfit's like, I mean, when am I not in a minimal outfit? But you know what I mean, like, when you're in a super like clean, minimal outfit and you just want like a show server, you're actually not uncomfortable. I feel like, I don't know if it's to do with this cutout at the back, I don't know what it is, but these are absolutely stunning. Of course, these are more of like a dinner outfit kind of shoe, maybe not even for vacation, just like if you're going to an event or something. I do love that they made this clear, because it literally just kind of highlighted the straps at the front over here and made it look like it's like very, very minimal. So, so I did tell you guys about this bodysuit, so that's one of the products I feel like are very, very nice for vacation because you can wear this to dinner and you can easily convert this. So let's say you went out to lunch and you came back and you're like, oh God, I don't know what to wear for dinner. I really like this bodysuit. You can easily throw on a trouser or a skirt and boom, your dinner outfit is done. I am obsessed with this bodysuit. I just love how versatile it is and it's so comfortable, you guys. It's really nice and stretchy, but it's in that like dressy nylon material. It's also double layered, so you don't have to worry about it being like very see-through. I'm gonna show you guys this bodysuit while I'm wearing a linen pant. Linen pants, 
everyone knows it's an amazing amazing pant that you can wear on vacation and also throughout just like spring and summer in general because it's very flowy and linen just brings you that like beachy type of vibe you know because very lightweight super super flowy now these pants actually are as a set you get like this really beautiful linen blouse in the exact same color and fabric but these trousers and pants oh my god they're so nice you guys but these are so nice you guys if you're looking for a nice linen trouser i am telling you these are so so nice i'm obsessed with this outfit and i'm so happy that i got these mood nyla you are being such a good girl they're so pretty, so nice and flowy. If you want to wear a black bodysuit, here's a little hack. But if you put on a very slim, like no-show nude short underneath that matches your skin tone, it will look so nice and you're able to wear like any dark color. I'm obsessed with the wide leg. They go really nice and high. And then these wedges, like I cannot, they're so cute, these platform wedges. So I wanted to show you guys this look and how just classy it is. I also have this one. And of course you have your elastic waist and you do have these guys, super comfortable, very flowy as you guys can see. I love that you can wear them with, again, a bodysuit, you can wear them with a bandeau top, you can wear them with your bathing suit top if you kind of want these to be like a little cover up. Like this, you can mix and match with the blouse and wear the blouse on top of your bikini as well girl you're gonna show up to that beach like you better watch so girl we come to the beach ready we come to the beach looking cute we don't come basic <laughs> i remember years ago when i would wear like a fancy like side bag as my beach bag and i remember like people making comments like they'd be like that's your beach bag and i'm like yes because i'm not basic sorry that you are <laughs> just you know being super nice and comfy but still being in style I think I also got this in a small, but I'll leave all my sizes um, right beside the product name so you guys can see. This nude kind of lower neckline. You know, when we're on vacation, I show a little bit more skin, girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Normally, I'm like, Rrr. but on vacation, it kind of goes, Rrr. you know, I'll, I don't know what happens. As soon as that plane lands, like all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, with showing cleavage. Really nice and stretchy. This is such a good like day bodysuit. Again, that you can still wear your little string bikini underneath it cute drop neckline and then this little tiny ruche detail which I don't know what it is about this little ruche detail but every time a bodysuit or a top has that it just is like the perfect little touch I love it of course you get your um, button closure at the bottom of course we love the color it is so nice this with like ivory or black or just like a light khaki beige and plus this color with gold jewelry these are a must I feel like for just Spring and summer in general, this is double layered. I like to get them super fitted so that I can just put on my, you know, my covers, my little pasties and I'm good to go. I love that like if it's super hot out, you want to avoid those tan lines. These bandeau tops are perfect. I also love that this is the perfect little companion with one of the blouses because you don't want to have too many like hot layers. This tank top I feel like is so nice as like a day outfit, especially if you're going to breakfast. You have your bathing suit underneath and you have your flowy pants on top. Maybe you have like a flowy skirt or something. I love that it's casual, but you can still make it look very like vacation and very like elevated casual. I think I got this in a small and of course it's just your regular cotton, but like very nice and stretchy. I also love wearing this with, but I needed to show you guys these jeans because they fit like a glove. A lot of you guys really, really love, like I got so many DMs, like please send me the link to these jeans from this reel. And it was the high demand jeans from Fashion Nova. There's these jeans over here, which I feel like are a very, very good similar to that, but they are nice and stretchy. They're like a light medium, you know, like they're not crazy light, but they're like a light medium. I do feel like these are super nice and light if you do want to wear them on vacation. Like these are not your crazy thick jeans. They're still very breathable and they're also very cooling to the touch. So they're not hot to wear or anything. But if you're looking for a really nice spring stretchy wide leg jean, these are so nice you guys. And they just like go with your body instead of feeling like you're stuffing yourself in them. This is, yeah I believe this is the last item of the haul. So again if you guys want to shop any of the stuff I showed you guys, or if you guys liked any of the outfit inspo and want to pick up the items, I do have my fashionable link down below in my description. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Do not be shy and leave them in the comments. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini haul. So babes, it is Monday today. I actually just finished going to get my passport renewed. Doing adult things today, y'all. I thought my passport was, um, I ended up 
I had no choice but to pick up McDonald's because that's all that's close to here. And I was waiting in the waiting area for at least like 45 minutes. But this one's not nearly as busy as the other ones. Even the girl said she left one of the locations to come to this Service Canada because it was so bad. I'm like, you left one? She's like, yeah, I left to come here. I'm like, oh my God, it must have been that bad because you want to just get in the queue. Like there's just no avoiding it. I thought my mom had told us, but she told us last year and I... I forgot that she didn't tell us this year because obviously this year just started so i got confused and she said our passports because she did the 10-year thing she's like our passports are going to expire next year and i took next year and i put that in my head as 2025 and then something kept bothering me like something was just always like steph go check your passport it's such a beautiful like spring day today it is so oh this weather right here will put you in that mood, girl, where you just want to be out and about. You don't want to be stuck at home. We got some nuggets, some barbecue sauce. I just want to remind Americans that our barbecue sauce is better than yours. Ours is more like tangy and yours is more like, it's that just traditional like American barbecue sauce. I hate that type of barbecue sauce. Oh my God. I just got four piece nuggets and a McChicken, which is my favorite me always aware of my surroundings and they loaded the lettuce on here they're like girl you need that lettuce <laughs> i always get so overworked up about like stupid stuff like that like renewing my passport passport stuff to do with your driver's license like i just always overthink it when it's just such a simple thing like fill out the damn form and just go right last night i was like overthinking it and like nervous to go today right away i went to ups i got my passport photo done and I went straight to the thing. And the lineup wasn't that bad, honestly. But anyways, I went to go check my passport. Doesn't that shit say March 2024? I'm like, holy shit. I went online. I opened up the PDF. And I was like, what form do I need? Like, I just panic about stuff like that. I have, like, the oldest child syndrome where, like, everything is, like, by the book. So I'm like, I can't have an expired passport. Oh, my God. What if I need to leave my first world country? Pendeja. I also need to go to Ikea, so I'm like, I don't know if I should do that now. God, McDonald's mayo is so good. I haven't had McDonald's in months. I only have it a couple times a year, or allow myself to have it like a couple times a year. Mmm, my chickens are so good. I don't even care if anybody's in their car watching me like, you want some? You look like a Tom. Do you want some Tom? Tom. No? Mmm, anyways. Like, balls. Sorry, Tom, I'm just really hungry right now. If you don't want me to fall over, I'm gonna have to eat this, Tom. I get very weak in between meals. I definitely think something's wrong, but like I've done blood tests and like I just can't find the answer. Or when your blood sugar gets low, she's like, she's like I think you're just sensitive to that or something like that. We've done tests exactly when she wanted me to and nothing. I thought I was like hypoglycemic. It could be a lot of things. I can't just be beautiful. I ordered pants organizers because I'm so excited. I moved my jackets from my bedroom closet into my den closet because that was the whole point of me spending, first of all, on that damn closet. It's supposed to be a fashion closet for my content creation, stuff like that. And then it became just like a big blob of shit. Like, no, not happening. And right now it's like, I hate that things are not in their proper category. Sometimes when I leave Nyla at home, I'm like, what is she thinking? Is she like this pendeja? She's always leaving me at home by myself. Meanwhile, I'm like getting a passport so I can travel and leave her behind. Now I have a whole section where my coats for my winter stuff is in my den closet, which gives me more room for my actual clothes that I keep getting. And it's just like my dressy section in my closet is now becoming my everyday stuff, which is so weird because it never used to be like that. So now I never thought that I would have to like expand my like dressy kind of like corner, but I do. So I ordered pants organizers from Amazon. So when I organize that, I'll show you guys in this video. Bro, he better not come over here. Like as a single female, I cannot. I cannot be engaging in that. Mm -mm. He knocked on her window and said, you. That's what he said. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I have to protect myself. I've been obsessed with the dollar store lately because I'm like so shook at the stuff that they have there. I got a light bulb yesterday from there for my new lamp, which... I I have a story time for you guys when it comes to that. Girl, that lamp is putting me through it. But yeah, I just feel like I'm 
getting my place super super organized and especially with spring around the corner now like it just feels so good and i spend so much time at home like i am a homebody but i do need to get out like i need to get out on a daily even if i just go to home sense even i need to leave the house so i am a homebody but i gotta like i have to see the light of day like i need to leave my door so i'm not like a super super like homebody hermit type of person and tomorrow night i'm going to the movies with jessica to see the bob marley movie so i'm excited about that i'm not a big movies person though i'm really not even at home like i'd rather watch a show than a movie and i feel like because a movie like it's over and then like there's nothing else and i love watching a series i'm gonna go tomorrow with her she's a big movie person so i like also doing stuff with her that i know she enjoys you know what i mean I really could use those ikea bins to really get organized and then at least when i start organizing like the pants and stuff i have a place to put every other thing else you know what i mean when i am hungry i'm a different person like you need to feed me or some shit's about to go down like i'm telling you right now um i wanted to show you guys that i actually placed my own little order from sheet and with some accessories and i also really wanted these shoes before they sold out i saw these flats and i was like oh my god and it said one left and i was like oh no like and they have another one that's like very similar i want to include these in my Shein spring haul they have ones that are very similar but this one has like a very muted like croc skin vibe to it and i love this color so 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 excited and the bottom is like very squishy it seems like these are going to be very comfortable because they're like extremely soft so i'm going to link them for you guys down below but i'll also link the similar because sometimes they restock their items very well and sometimes they just don't come back for a minute but i'm really excited because i feel like especially again with my style change i feel like flats are going to be like a really good like everyday shoe and before it was more like my sneakers but i i honestly haven't worn sneakers in like months but i love them they're so freaking pretty you guys they have the little bow with the little gold detail on it and they have more of like a squared front at the front there they're so cute i just wanted to show you guys it came in like a separate shipment and my other stuff's gonna come like it's still coming this is such a cute like flowy vacation dress it's like in a taupe color so cute i was just thinking on the highway because i'm dead so my friend from college actually taught me how to drive on the highway when i was like gonna get my my g i think it's the g on the highway and i'm like oh my god i'm like girl i'm so freaking anxious i'm so anxious and one thing i loved about this friend was that she was very like calm like in chaotic situations she was so like literally she'd be like yeah there is a lot going on she would tell me but you're gonna get used to it you're gonna get used to it you're fine like she was very different than me but yeah so she would tell me she'd be like it's okay like you're gonna get more aggressive as like it goes on and i literally was like i'm like driving and i'm like I'm like a, what she's like you, you'll get like more used to it you'll get more aggressive as you drive just like right now um because like i was in my way and i was like M me aggressive i was like sweetie do you know who you're driving with I'm like i am not an aggressive person like that's like my least quality she's like you'll you'll get more aggressive as you get used to it and she because she was a little bit older than me i think and she already had her full license and man when i got on that highway and she took me on a pretty she took me on the 403 so that's like crazy where i actually took my test i took my test in orangeville and their highway is like not even like which if you know it's a literally look, just looks like a road it doesn't even look like a highway um we're here at ikea now right this, no no this is not ikea yet so yeah she's like you'll get more aggressive and i was like i was like oh god oh someone tell her i'm not aggressive and it just reminded me because when i got off the highway i had to be aggressive and like go really fast to get into the lane i needed to get to because i was in the carpool lane and i had to like really get off always 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 remember her and i hear her voice in my head like you're gonna be fine you're gonna do it you're gonna get more aggressive she's so right like you know what i mean things seem so scary when you're first starting off but then as you get closer and closer and like you actually do it for a while you get so used to it anyways we just um reached ikea right now i never like leaving nyla at home like for too long like it bothers me i get the dog mom guilt and i'm like always counting the hours in my head i'm like when did i leave her 10 30 11 30 i am always counting how long that girl is at home by herself because i don't like it but i make up for it by when i come home i immediately put on her harness and she's so excited here we're gonna pick up our storage bins because since i'm home all day tomorrow i would just rather have everything i need and i like to get things done in chunks instead of like bit by bit so 
Mood, high standards, low prices. We're definitely gonna need one of these. See, Jess, it's okay for me to change my mind. One thing I love about being Canadian is that we smile at each other so much. I've already got smiled at by like six people today. Do you guys wanna know something else? I contoured the shit out of my double chin so I can go get my, pro my passport photo. I was like, I put in a workout. Girl is bloated. I had to do what I had to do. My face is puffy right now. When you don't consume alcohol, but like you want to be the girl that consumes alcohol. I'm gonna make some mocktails. Oh, these are cute too. So cute. When I make my little um, lime summer drink. Sick dollars. Which tastes no dollar store. This is the lamp I currently have. I'm just charging the car right now. And I got everything I needed to get at Ikea. Tell me how I get to the freaking cash. And I'm like self-checking out. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, these two are different ones. Like I freaking picked up the wrong... I got one of the right one and then one of the wrong freaking one. I'm just thinking now, I'm like, could I have used that one? But no, not really. I don't want to get things I don't need. I want to get things I know I absolutely do need. Those are perfect because they zip up really nicely. And I already actually have one of those scub things up in one of my den closets, but that's a larger one. So it won't fit where I want it to go. Successful day. And then tomorrow will be full of organizing. So I'm going to show you guys that obviously. So hello babes. It is the next day. It is so cloudy and I feel like it is the perfect day to organize. I was so excited. Even last night, I'm like, I cannot wait to organize. I got a ton of stuff from Ikea yesterday. I'm so excited about these bins because like I said, my Shein order is on the way, almost here, and I need another bin, plus I just got sent more Fashion Nova stuff, and my den area is just looking ridiculous. But I did end up opening up one of the scub organizers, and what I'm hoping to put inside of here are like my bed sheets and stuff. I did get these four carnation flowers, so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like this will look really nice in the bedroom. The other thing I changed was I removed my wall lamp i was telling you guys i was dying to change and i covered up the holes i just have to grab my wall paint i don't know if the lamp that we picked up is going to be for the bedroom or my living room i have a feeling it's going to be for my living room i got a few other things for my place that are from ikea too and i did return a um duvet insert that i got from amazon it said that it was going to be like lightweight and cooling in all seasons it was not i literally put it on my bed and i like pretended to sleep with it I'm like, this is going to be boiling in the summer. My place gets so hot. If you like have a very hot place, I'm going to tell you something right now. Look for bamboo or rayon when it comes to your duvet cover, your comforter, your duvet insert, whatever it is that you sleep with. Look for bamboo because it's going to keep you warm in the winter and it's going to keep you cool in the summer. Okay. Trust me, now that I have it, I return the other one immediately. I'm like, me and her are going to boil in the summer. But that was a no-go. I think I'm going to keep what I have as the insert, and I'm going to get a du go back to like doing a duvet cover. Kind of stopped because we all know it's kind of annoying. I got these towels from Ikea. This is going to be for the glass shelf that we're going to do inside the bed uh, bathroom. But I got one kind of like facial towel that's a little bit larger. And basically, they're just going to be stacked, and they're just for display purposes. I'm not going to be using them. And I realized that I forgot two face cloths from Ikea because I wanted to put it on the counter. These are my absolute favorite hangers. And even though I'm going to gain some hangers after my organizing that we're going to do, I still just, I don't have any extras laying around anymore. And then again, we got our two large bins that are going to go in my den area. These are what I got from Amazon. They are pant hangers. They hold nine pants. The other thing that's so cool about these, you guys, is that so once the pants are all hanging if you want to see which ones instead of having to like grab them from here 
you can easily lift it up and see it just like that. These were actually inside of my den closet and I love these, but I do want to eventually find something a little bit more aesthetic and kind of looking like it was meant for my closet, you know? And I don't want to like waste them and throw them out. So I have my socks, my shapewear inside of there. These are all empty, which is amazing because I can use it for belts and accessories. These are like our dressy um, trouser pants and then these are all of our skirts. This looks like such a zoo. I need to get all of this clothes organized and I'm really just trying to figure out where all this shit is gonna go. This is actually one of the bags I showed you guys from the last vlog when I did that mini Timu haul. I'm actually ready to go to the movie theaters. Jessica's on her way so I'm bringing this so that I can sneak something into the movie theaters without them knowing. I'm going very simple. I have, actually I haven't worn this in such a long time and while I was cleaning up my closet, I'm like, you know what? I'm actually gonna wear this today. So I'm wearing a turtleneck and then also this really nice like fleece, super, super cozy because it's like really raining outside. And with my Timu bag, I have little beige booties and I have my flare Amazon leggings, just like a really casual outfit. I haven't gone out like super casual like this in a minute. But I feel like it's casual with like a little bit of dressiness going on. I also got these new earrings from Amazon. I'm going to show you guys because I'm in love. It came as a set. So I got this set where it comes with these guys over here. Got these uh, circle halo earrings and I'm actually wearing these square ones right now. Very pretty. And the whole entire set was only $19. So definitely recommend them if you are looking for a set. They actually had the halo ones at Winners for $24.99 and I ended up getting all of these for just $20 so if you're looking for a set definitely recommend these I'll link them for you guys on my Amazon pages but also down below in the description wow <laughs> the VIP experience okay table mood menus ready to go Merlot does anybody like Merlot no we're gonna get nachos and their tenders of poutine I'm getting a... What alcohol are you getting? What fishbowl? I'm not getting alcohol, Let's man. go swimming. Time to go swimming, Steph. Swim. Put on your goggles and sip up. I have my goggles. <laughs> goggles. I'm getting the beef quesadillas. Nachos. There's quesadillas. Oh my god. Veggie quesadilla. Okay, I'm gonna get loaded beef nachos with no jalapenos. Jalapenos? Yeah. Ready? First question. Who actually reached out to filmmaker because they absolutely had to be a horn film? For those of you who don't know, this is Cristiano Ronaldo. She likes playing soccer. You ready? You ready to play soccer? Okay. Look how good she is. On. She's crazy. <laughs> you want to play? Yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah? Christiana! She's just, I can't get it past her, man. She just met a golden retriever. He's such a good boy. Did you meet a good friend? Stay with mama. Oh my gosh, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. After all the hard work when you train a dog, it's just such an amazing feeling. Like, when you're training them, it feels like hell. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. And after, it's just, when you see this, like, literally, she's never done this at the park where there was a dog, and he let him off the leash as well. Come on, baby, come on. Let's go home, because now you're extra tired, and you're gonna have a nap, and mommy gets to eat her food in peace, and watch her show after working, and that's my favorite part. <laughs>
actually had this beef. It's actually steak. I wait until it's um, out of the freezer and then I slice it up really thin with my knife. For some reason it's so hard to find like beef at the store like thinly sliced like this so I just decided to do it to my uh, do it myself. And then over here in this bowl we have some red and green bell peppers and a chopped onion. I'm also cooking up some jasmine rice on the side. With this what you want to do is kind of set it off to the side once it is done and I like when the beef is like not too overly cooked and I still like when my veggies are crunchy again this is gonna be a meal prep so I'm cooking it in a way so that it can still be nice and juicy such a quick and easy meal especially if you love Asian inspired meals I make this quite frequently because my favorite thing like if I get Asian takeout I will get um, beef with veggies and rice basically Hopefully you guys try this out. It is so, so yummy. I have two whole bags, you guys, of clothes to get rid of, like to give away. And I wanted to show you guys this before Jessica takes it. So I'm actually getting rid of my desk. I actually found someone, Jessica's friend, that um, is gonna buy it off of me. And I'm also gonna give her this lamp to go on top of it. I just found with the desk, like, it was like a phase for me. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna do my makeup here and I never did my makeup there. I did work at it, but I just, I don't know, I've been working on my islands. At least I'm selling it and still getting something for it. Um, but yeah, I have it on my little willy trolley over here. This thing saves my life. I'm also gonna put the bags on top. And my girl, my girl is ready to go for a walk, right? You ready to go for a walk? Look at your face, my baby. Hello babes, I sold a lot from Shop My Closet, so I am just, packing orders right now and some of you that place some big orders are going to be getting a little surprise. See and I'm just trying to like give me her mouse and play. I only have kind of a few items left honestly like it things sold pretty quickly in one day. If you're ever looking for any of my like lightly used clothing I will have them on stephymacero.com and I made the homepage uh, shop my closet just so that it's easier for you guys. But yeah, all the stuff that I sell in there, like they're very lightly used. Sometimes they're never used. Sometimes it's just like worn once or worn twice. I promise this is gonna get inside of here. I just need to work on it a little bit. And this place looks so much more cleaner. I did, um, Jessica took the desk yesterday. She took the lamp. She took all of my black Drona boxes that were inside of my closet. I'll show you guys an update on my closet because I cannot believe like what I have left and how much room I have now, so. <laughs> My name looks so funny, my love. This girl, you look amazing. guys it is i think day two of organizing my closet i just went out with my dad for breakfast and i got rid of another like kind of half of a garbage bag um so there was a lot that i got rid of I ended up getting more of these hangers that i got for my pants and i'm gonna show you guys an update what my closet looks like now but i was like wait a second i have a few of those bodysuits that are sleeveless they're like halter racer neck style couldn't i use this for my bodysuits and yeah, you can. Especially because they're really nice and thin, you're gonna get 18 bodysuits on two hangers. Plus, I've been loving the fact that you go like this and you're able to see all your bodysuits hanging. This saves you so much space. I have this entire area that is completely empty and then I have this section that still has room. And that's why I need to hang up the bodysuits and stuff just because I feel like those are all in my drawers and I feel like they're a little bit more dressy so they should be inside of my closet. I organized it by like dressier tops, like long sleeve tops that are not things that I would wear around the house and stuff. And then I have all of my actual like blouses and stuff like that. But And then on this side, I was able to grab all my sweaters and put them into one thing and I still have a little bit of room, which like I'm actually shook about. And then over here, I have all my pants, all my skirts, 
and then we um dresses on the side over here which i don't have a lot of dresses moving on to this side i still am a little bit indecisive about this area because this is still spring like jackets and stuff like that and and then over here we have our very small section of like our crew next and then we have cardigans so i think what i'm going to do is once the bodysuits get out of my drawers and my actual dresser i think the casual stuff just needs to go inside the drawers because one there's not too much of it and two i do feel like my closets have become a little bit more dressy and then over here on the bottom i ended up putting my belts and stuff so i was able to put more accessories And then I did one with all the small tops because like I said, it just bothers me that they're so thin and stuff, but they take up so much room. They're just such a good way to like literally get as much as you can inside of a closet, especially if you don't have a lot of closet space. So I ended up getting this glass shelf from Amazon, you guys, and I was gonna like paint these little brackets black, but then I realized I'm like, they're not gonna show, they're at the back. And I'm gonna put two fresh white towels, the ones that we got from Ikea on top. And I feel like it's gonna give like hotel vibes. The shelf is up and it looks so cute. It just gives such like hotel vibes. It is so nice. I just got two fresh towels and I feel like it just kind of like softens up the bathroom. Then I wanna get a fresh white robe, but I ended up putting this hook over here. And the other thing you can do to make it look more rich too is actually have a nice hanger up there and then put the robe on the hanger. So you'll see that a lot in hotel rooms. But I am going to get a fresh white um, like towel type of robe to match that so that when they're beside each other, it's going to look really nice and fresh. So I just love how clean this looks. I think it looks so cute and it definitely gives you hotel. In the last vlog, we made those Snickers bars. Oh my god, I almost want to remake those, but there's so many other things I want to try that I've saved on Pinterest. So I've also saved these little like square bites and they're kind of just good like energy bites, especially when I'm filming my hauls or just filming in general and I need that like bite of something to give me instant energy. So we're gonna make that. Then I'm gonna attempt, for all my pecan pie lovers, I do love a good pecan tart and pecan pie. I don't think I have pecans, but I have walnuts. I think I'm gonna make two of those things. Your dates are very dry, you guys. Now I can feel these are like super like wet and soggy. It just helps things to blend up better. So if you find that yours are not like blending um, either in your chopper or your blender or whatever, then just add in some hot water if you haven't soaked them. Make sure you guys go check out the last vlog because those Snickers bars were literally a hundred out of 10. I didn't really do a review on like in the video and I wish I did because they were so good, you guys. I didn't want them to like end. Like I wanted to remake them and Kylo loved them. Even Amy, she hates dark chocolate, like really, really hates it. And she's like, Steph, get those away from me. Those are delicious. I'm like, I told you, they literally taste like Snickers, but they're way more healthier. So go check out that video. But watch yourself. <laughs> Who am I with all these healthy snacks? You know what it is? It's at nighttime when I'm on my sofa and I have like my warm coffee. I just kind of want to end my day in a dessert. And that's kind of new to me because I'm not a sweet tooth. I feel like this is a really big tip. If you want to get away from that really like bad sugar dessert you always go for, there's so many recipes and they're so easy. I got pumpkin seeds and I also got pistachios. Now the pistachios, I don't want them to go on like whole like this, but the pumpkin seeds, obviously there's no need to chop them because they're like the perfect size. I didn't take it in, but it makes sense now, now that I'm looking at all the ingredients. These are actually vegan brownies.
this one just came out of the oven you guys it looks so good you do need to let it cool before it goes back into the fridge this one you guys i tried the brownie one and oh my god i'm not a pistachio fan pumpkin seeds and like pistachios are not something i'm gonna like pick up and like be excited about but i love that it's a great way to get it while still having something that's super tasty i know pumpkin seeds are very good for our hormones and those literally taste like a legit brownie they are impeccable so texture wise amazing everything held together so nicely i'm excited to try these because they actually smell amazing because these were baked so i feel like there's more of a scent going on i'm gonna be honest the brownies 20 out of 10. okay these are good too they're totally different i like the bottom it tastes just like a pie crust and the top is pretty nutty i would almost want the top to be a little bit more gummy I can see myself having this more with my coffee just because it's giving me more pastry vibes. It has a harder texture. Still chewy, but not as not as moist and chewy as those guys are. Mm, literally. <laughs> yeah, these are very good. I'd say these are a seven and a half, eight out of ten. Yeah, if you try those brownies, girl, you're gonna be like, what the hell? And there are no baked brownies too, like girl. Or I deserve with it. Excuse me, pendeja. Cállate. What is this girl doing? <laughs> Nyla, what are you doing? You never sleep there. <laughs> and it's the way she has her head against the headboard. <laughs> you make mommy laugh, my love. You know you're so gorgeous. Who made you gorgeous? Your mommy or your daddy? Not your daddy, right? Your mommy? Yeah. I thought so. I wanted to show you guys my nightstand. It came and one night I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna quickly build it just to get the box out of the way. This is what it looks like. As you guys can tell, it's definitely a more like fresh white as I imagined, but it's definitely not the color I want it to be. It was so easy to build. And let me tell you guys, this was only, I think I paid $76. I think there was an extra discount on Bed Bath & Beyond. They also had this on Wayfair. If you guys are looking for an affordable nightstand, definitely recommend this one it again was so easy to build but it comes with this little drawer the reason why I got this one was because like I said I did give away my Malm one because this one is way less deep especially because I've been filming over here the Malm came out to here like, I just feel like this keeps it a lot more open but I'm so scared to paint this like a light beige color because my nightstand has always been white everyone voted beige but it's so pretty it's very clean you can also add some decor at the bottom so i do like that it has that little cubby at the bottom what i'm struggling with is my damn light for this area if you guys come across anything that you see um let me know i'm nervous about painting this so i'm kind of like stalling it i'm not gonna lie hello babes it is monday and i just finished filming this little like vacation dinner dressy kind of look look how stunning these gold earrings are these are actually from shein the bodysuit is from fashion nova that i showed you guys earlier in the video at the beginning in my little mini haul i love it it is just so like sophisticated and just like classy with the knot on the side i am obsessed i feel like you can dress up dress down this bodysuit like i mentioned i also use these shoes that i've had forever from misguided these like little strappy heels i feel like these are very like vacation spring summery because obviously they're very like strappy and open and then i actually was gonna sell this bag on shop my closet and it didn't end up selling and i was like okay you know what i think that's a sign for me to just like keep it as like a bag for me to use especially my content but this bag was from our dean but i actually had this chain from um, Amazon that I got to add to like any bag that has like the hoops for you to add like a shoulder chain 
So I ended up putting it on here and it ended up looking so freaking cute. So I did like a black on black. I also am wearing my Honey Love shaper underneath. I literally have like all their shapewear. They're my favorite. Also, my coupon code with them has been increased to 15% off. So if you were thinking of getting something and you want a little extra discount, my discount code also gives you guys 15 now, not just 10% off. Um, so I have that underneath and yeah, I'm just obsessed with these earrings. I really wanted to focus on like a classy, just a very clean, all black, black on black outfit, but then kind of bring out the gold with like the accessories and stuff like that. I also wore the gold cuff that I have from Fashion Nova. If you guys want outfit inspo, make sure you guys are looking at my shorts on here and also follow me on Instagram because that's where I have all my reels. I'm also going to do a little bit more filming today, but also a lot of editing because I feel like I'm a little bit behind. I feel like it's definitely vacation season mode where people want vacation outfit inspo. So that's why you see a lot of that, especially in the Fashion Nova haul that I showed you guys earlier in the video. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Can you pass Uh, yeah, so that we can share, yeah. Uh, it's the camera, no way. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Organizing my drawers you guys I went through my drawers recently but then I remembered that I haven't been using like any of my leggings and I got rid of so many you guys literally it's pretty much half of this bag over here it's so dark outside right now and I'm just like calm in here and like organizing my stuff I had these little organizers that I ordered from Amazon like a while back too I went from having an entire drawer like this entire drawer was packed with like leggings shorts skirts and this is all I have. So we have all of my skirts and little cycle shorts, which I don't wear often. So I only have like the three basic colors, three basic colors and like mini skirts, which I feel like are so pretty with blouses in the spring and summer. And then this one, um, what do you call it? Romper. And then you have all the leggings and all the colors. I'll link these also. They're going to be under my organization section on my Amazon favorites in the description. But I feel like when you organize, you also, like as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, oh, I'm missing this pant. I'm missing something like this. Like I'm starting to think with my like new style shift things that I feel like I'm missing. The way I got my Shein package today, I'm missing just a small portion. They were shipped in two separate packages. But everything is stunning and oh my god, I already have like so much like Pinterest inspo and that's kind of like my inspiration for what I'm going to be doing for that um, haul. It's going to be like a very spring but like European travel vacation type of vibes, very minimal, classic, just like timeless outfits that you can put on over and over and over and use the pieces so many different times. So I'm really excited, like I'm in love with the stuff that I got. But yeah, it just feels so good to like clean up and I can't believe I'm at like bag number four of things that I'm giving to charity. Like I can't believe that. And I still have to go through my jean drawer and my workout drawer and I have a little section with like bikinis and stuff which like barely ever get worn. What am I gonna do with my cargo pants? Like I, I bought like six cargo pants last season cause that was my that was my peanut butter and jam, you know what I'm saying? And now, now it's my milk chocolate and y'all know I hate milk chocolate. Today's Jessica's day off, so she 
plan to go to that restaurant Gooby that she loves to go to Jessica is always there like if you happen to go there she's probably going to be there because she's always at that restaurant I do love going there too but I also like the newer one that she's showing me just because I feel like their menu is a little bit more wider but she's going with my dad and her boyfriend today and she's like do you want to come along and I was like yeah sure why not so I just finished getting ready right now just did super light makeup I don't even have any foundation I just have my salty face tanner on which you guys know is my favorite I'll leave my coupon code for them because I do get you guys 10% off if you guys get any of their stuff through my link or if you guys just use my code stephanie but yeah literally I love this because it saves me time on like applying my foundation so when I was doing my makeup, I'm like, oh yeah, your face is like freshly tanned. Don't even put any foundation on. I just put a little bit of the Say, like that glow on just to give my face like a glowy kind of skin look. And then a little bit of bronzer. That is literally all that, that's on my face. Um, but I'm going to be taking my Timu bag. I'm still obsessed with this bag. I love it so much. And I love running errands with it because it has all the different pockets. I can also leave the link for you guys to shop this bag. I think it's sold out the last time I saw it. Um, and I'm also wearing a new sweater from Shein, which, oh my god, I love this sweater. It's kind of giving me, like, preppy vibes. Definitely the, like, fit of it, I love it. It's a little bit more of that, like, boxy, like, cropped kind of fit, but not showing your tummy type of cropped, because I feel like I'm, like, past that stage, you know? I'm past that era, girl. We are in our, like, mature, I'm a classy girl era, you know? But I love this sweater so much. It's, like, in a very, like, beigey color, and I'll show you guys my entire outfit in the mirror. And then I'm also going to put my pointed black boots from Shein, just to bring in a little bit of the black as well. And it's not too cold outside, honestly, so I want to bring, like, something light, a little spring jacket, so... This one is from Joe Fresh. I'm going to bring this. I did end up getting this in an extra large because I wanted it. It's like more of a fitted sweater and I wanted it to be a little bit flowy, but it would look super cute too if it was a little more fitted and then you can put like a white collar top. I actually just thought about that. That'd be really cute and it would come out of the bottom. And I'm still so obsessed with these Amazon earrings from that set that I showed you guys in this video. Love these. I'm wearing the circle ones today. And I'm also wearing my hair down, but girl, do not get it twisted. I am bringing a hair clip with me because I can easily just whatever. I'm going to wear my hair down today, but I'm bringing that clip with me, girl. You better watch, so. I'm about to head out right now and go to Jessica's a little bit early, and then we're going to go down together. I've shown you guys this restaurant, I think, one or two times, but I'm going to still show you guys some footage because I really think you get a lot for what you pay. It's like basically $40 per person but it's all you can eat and there's like a bunch of different things that you can order different meats different sides different veggies our favorite is the bimbimbap i think that's how you say it bimbimbap it's like a little dish with like rice has an egg on top it has hot sauce like sriracha it has a sheet of um oh what seaweed it has a sheet of seaweed in it it has soybeans in there it is delicious and it's kind of like a side dish as you're having like the meats fresh off the grill so I definitely recommend it if you haven't tried one of those restaurants where like you cook on the grill yourself. Good morning. That you miss? We're just about to apologize to you here. I sent you a message. I said to Jessica, we need to get dad's location. <laughs> The food like barbecue, like, no, like that. I know you don't like it raw, right? <laughs> eat a piece, no. It's more spicy. Thank you. You won't see in the bed. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. You forgot. You're right here. You forgot where you're coming. It's almost like come in and go to the So if you step on them, then you think of them. Dad, do you step on them? Do you think it's not good? Yeah, I see. It's a bit more good. I don't know if you can get a little bit of 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 a little they're cooking the clams yeah, and the she's salmon. running out of room. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm moving yeah. everything here. I hope for God for the gas tank is full. <laughs> what? Are you saying I hope the gas tank is full to cook all the sweets? Uh. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, you guys, I have painted the nightstand. This is only the base color though, because I have to add the wood green. I'm honestly stalling it because I'm so nervous to mess it up. I think it's gonna look very good though, and I'm gonna show you guys the samples I just practiced. It looks really nice. I thought that I would see like a colored nightstand and be like, hell no, but I actually really love it. Okay, so I wanna show you guys over here. I ended up going to the art store and getting a glazing medium. So basically this is like a transparent mixing kind of thing that you can use to mix with any acrylic paint and it will allow you to have like a longer drying time which basically gives you time to like really kind of play with it. Like this was literally like five minutes ago and I'm still able to like play with it. So these were two samples. The color of the nightstand is behind these little streaks that I just did. And what I did was mix a little bit of brown and gray because I kind of want like a weathered kind of like taupey khaki sort of beige color. So I had the clear mixing glaze on this side and then I had the color and then you kind of want to take the excess off and then you want to just do this and look at how it makes it look like a wood grain. Give in for you guys. Like look how nice that is. So at first I was like, I read like a blog post and it was like, make sure you try it on something before. And I was like, yeah, that's a really good idea. But yeah, this was a more cooler background color. I'm glad that I went with the more like greeny, creamy kind of khaki beige because I just prefer that. And I love the way this looks like this legit, like just take this away. Look how that looks like a wood grain, like that's insane. I'm just so scared to do it today because today's Sunday, tomorrow's my birthday. And I'm like, do I really want to mess up my nightstand? <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to speak positive. I'm going to make my nightstand look amazing. How about that? Definitely get something like this so you guys can see what it says and then mix it and get a brush that has a little bit more of like a rustic look like this. I'm going to be using this one because it's larger. It's going to allow me to get the job done faster. But you don't want to get one that has like, I don't know, you can do super soft bristles, but I like that these ones are a little bit more rough. Kind of gives you that more like rustic, like wood type of look. Okay, I just went right in for it. I just did the drawer, the top of the drawer, or like the front of the drawer. And what the heck? It looks so good. What? Oh my God, I cannot believe that. This actually makes me feel better because I feel like now I can do the rest of it. But oh my God, that looks so good. Y'all can't tell me that looks like wood. You guys, I am so annoyed right now. Like everything looks amazing and I just spent like a good freaking hour and a half trying to like do the rest of it okay it looks amazing i had to use masking tape to section certain parts off so that they don't touch each other i go take off the masking tape and it's peeling off all my previous work like all the paint off plus the primer and that primer is like a special primer that will adhere to anything i've used it before girl no you're you're lying like you're a freaking liar you peeled off definitely annoyed like i'm annoyed because this looked incredible. Like this is literally like the dream color I wanted my nightstand to be. And I spent all this work and now I'm like, do I seriously even fix this? Like, do I even paint it and then do the wood green? Because now I'm like, are you gonna peel again? <sighs> Why? 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 Oh, my dad always tells me there's certain things that you can save money on and then there's other things that you just shouldn't, you should just pay for them. This is the side and this is what I did. Like, it's stunning, okay? It is giving everything. It's giving watch yourself. But right now, what I really want to do is throw it off my balcony. That's what I want to do. Like, what would you guys do? I, I don't even, I'm honestly, you know when you're so annoyed at something that you're like, I don't actually want to fix you. I don't want to fix, I actually want to take you and like throw you off the balcony and ask anybody if they want it. Well, that didn't age well. I'm like, guys, if you want to like add a faux wood grain, well, I mean, that's still relevant. Like you can still use that, but I think that primer clearly did not work out. Back to the drawing board. We don't have a nightstand, Nyla. Nyla, we don't have a nightstand, sweetie. Yeah, your mom tried to be a penny pincher again and look what happened. <laughs> she got smacked in the face. I'm just gonna have to take the L, honestly. Like I'm looking at the table and I actually need to get it away from my eyesight because I'm, I, I feel like breaking down. Put it by the front of the door and I'm like, that didn't happen. And tomorrow's my birthday and I'm the type of person where like my mood affects everything, right? So sometimes if certain things happen, I'm like, I don't know if you guys do this, but all like, Okay, like for example this, right? I was so excited for it and I'm seriously very disappointed. Like I'm very disappointed right now. But a part of me, like I stood back and I was like, 
but you did such a great job like you did such a great job with the wood grain you didn't even think that it would look this good and like it really does so at least I guess the only thing I can take from that is stop taking shortcuts that primer you don't even need to sand with that primer but I should have freaking sanded that thing down so I'm also pissed at myself for that yeah I don't know if you guys like this but like something like that will happen to me and I'm like oh my god like tomorrow's my birthday like I don't want my mood I don't want this like to mess up my mood because like I also want to pick on my outfit today because tomorrow I'm going right out in the morning with my sisters for breakfast if something happens to me like the day before I'm going out sometimes I'm like oh my god like I let that kind of affect that and I'm trying not to do that anymore because there's just no point like at the end of the day like are you gonna throw out the table Okay, if you're going to throw out the table, then why are you going to let it affect something else? Like, yeah, you're disappointed. You're annoyed. It happened. Okay, cool. Like, you can sulk and you can, like, you know, you can go in the bathroom and, like, roll up in a towel and cry on the floor if you want to. I didn't do that. Not yet. It just, some things just don't work out, you know? And that's okay. And it's also a part of me being a perfectionist. Like, I'm horrible at accepting when things are not like don't work out like I'm looking at the table and I'm like I can't accept this I cannot and I'm like stop it's take the L. I also want to tell you guys a story about <laughs> the lamp I went to go get so there was a lamp at home since I mentioned in my last vlog I kind of left it there because I was like oh I really like that base I had a nice ball uh, like base sometimes I, I just leave it and then see if it's there I get there it's still there and I'm like oh my god it's meant to be the va the lamp is still here I'm gonna take it now $39.99, such a great deal because most of their lamps are like $59.99 and up. I only went out to go pick up that lamp. Okay, just, just, keep, just keep that in mind. I get home and I'm take you know, typical me, I want to do everything very fast and I want to get everything and like, and I go take it out of the thing and... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I look down and I'm like, again, like finding it very hard to accept what I'm looking at right now. And I'm just like, that's not real. I'm like rewind. Like, don't you wish you could click a button and just rewind and have that not happen because you were a pendeja and you grabbed it by the top of the hat and it went zoop. But then I looked at it. I'm trying to be optimistic when shit like this happens. And I'm going one, two, three, four. I'm like, I bet you I can pick up all those four pieces, put them perfectly back together, and glue them with my Gorilla Glue. So that's what I do. I pick up all the four pieces. Let me even check if the light freaking works, because maybe that could be broken too. I go plug it in, the light is still working, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just grab my Gorilla Glue, put the puzzle pieces back together, and we're gonna have a lamp. Like, this would never happen. And voila. This is what the lamp looks like. It looks so nice. I did like a very kind of stucco cream bottom and then I had a hat. I actually switched the hat for one that I found at HomeSense. I think I showed you guys with Jessica. I also painted this uh, the center area in black and I actually seen this lamp style from either CB2 or somewhere on Pinterest and the lamp was like $300. And now we got it for $39. You better watch yourself. But it ended up looking so nice. I'm so happy with it. And I knew I was going to paint the base anyway, so that's why I'm like, I can cover all these cracks. You can't even tell that the lamp was ever broken because obviously I like plastered it and stuff. That ends up working out, but I just, <laughs> I just feel like I had the lamp cracking. Now this freaking nightstand, like, but everything else is just like slowly coming together in my place. Um, I have to figure out what I'm going to be wearing for my birthday tomorrow. And of course, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me. That's why I didn't have a vlog um, last Sunday because I wanted to take the week off because I knew that the following weeks were going to be kind of crazy. I have a Shein haul to do and stuff like that. Plus my birthday. So I took this week off and tomorrow. Oh, here's another thing. So for my birthday, I wanted to try this restaurant called... Um, Trattoria and Timon. I went to go make reservations. This chit chat, I feel like it's just like one failure. No, you know what? We're gonna manifest and be like, we are turning negative into positive. I'll make reservations and it's like closed on Mondays. Okay. Then there was another restaurant called Seven Enoteca. Um, downtown Oakville. It looks so nice. I've really been meaning to go. Closed on Mondays. Okay, because I didn't want to do like what I normally do every single year and I go to CHOP and we're going to go to CHOP. 
<laughs> because I would rather go somewhere where I know I'm gonna like love the food. Maybe I'll try a different plate this time. I guess I'll just have to try those other two restaurants another time. Also just like it's a day where I can like spend time with my sisters. Jessica's gonna come along this time because she's off. It's on a Monday so it's perfect. And you guys I have some exciting news coming up and I'm so excited. Like I am so excited. It's crazy because it's something that I manifested from last year and didn't even realize I was actually manifesting it. It's something that I kept thinking about and I feel like I low-key manifested it without even realizing it. And it's happening and oh my god, I'm so excited. I'll mention it in like the following vlogs just because it doesn't really have anything to do with this vlog at all and I kind of like want to go into it a little bit more and stuff like that. I think you guys are going to be excited for me as well because... You guys might be able to help me out with this. That's a little, that's a little clue. I think you guys are gonna help me out a lot. What is that, my love? Is a package? What's that? Ah! You wanna open it? Ah! Ah! Yeah, she does. She gets just as excited as I. Ah! Package? Ah! Ah! What is that, package? Ah! Yeah, you wanna open it? Came back from picking up my Shein package. Literally like the third one. I am so excited for this haul because I really want to do two hauls and I think I already told you guys more of like a vacation one and then a basics one. I'm still waiting for one more package but that one should hopefully be coming by this Friday but I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek and do a tiny unboxing just to kind of show you guys what to kind of expect. I'm super excited. Okay so we have a shoe over here. Oh my god, these are so nice, you guys. When I saw them online, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Look at these shoes. Like, stop right now. I've really been liking these, like, flat shoes because it kind of gives, like, you're wearing a heel. It's classy, it's sophisticated, but they're flat, so it's, like, very comfortable. Oh, my god. There's actually a very funny story. Are y'all ready for this? One of you. I'm not, I'm not joking one of you got my package my selections i'm not joking i cannot make this shit up i literally look at my dms because i was getting a bunch of birthday messages <laughs> like i'm shocked because i don't understand how this happened like the only thing i can think of is that i think she's won one of my giveaways before so maybe that address was clicked by accident or maybe like when the order was like processing I honestly don't know how this order went to her. I get a message from her saying happy birthday and I'm like, thank you. And then I see this big paragraph like before it. So I go up and I read it. And it's like, hey girl, this is gonna sound crazy. I don't even know what to say. I feel even weird saying this to you, but like, did you send me a whole ass she in package? I'm, I'm at the park with Nyla, okay? And I'm like, what like i'm sitting on the bench and i'm like imagine this is my phone i'm like what and i'm like this is crazy because she's like there was four shoes in there there was all these things that you would have selected so i can only think it would be from you because my name is not on it but it's so funny i was thinking about that i'm like wait a second if my name's not on it how the hell did she know it was me and she's like no it's because all the stuff in this damn order looks like something you would choose like y'all know me too so she's like Steph these literally are pieces that you would choose I'm not even joking you and I'm like I had four pairs of shoes in that damn order this girl got my order so she's like I'll send you a pic like later on or whatever and I messaged her back I'm like yeah I don't know how the hell you got that order but she has this entire order and she gets to enjoy it it literally says your order has been delivered in my email and then I look at it and I'm like that's not where it was supposed to go. That's in the US. How freaking weird is that? It's so funny because she's like, Steph, I love all this stuff and all the shoes fit me. And I'm like, honestly, you have to think that like this was a crazy, like meant to be type of thing because what are the odds that like she literally fits my shit? Like I'm a size six shoe. Oh my God, this shirt is so soft. Okay, now I feel like I'm talking to the girl that got my order. Chrissy! Chrissy girl, how do you like this shirt? It's cute, right? I know, girl, like, did you feel it? It's, I don't even know if you open up the whole package, but I'm letting you know right now, 
in this vlog, you can open up your package. You can enjoy all the goodness, all of the fruits of my labor. I'm just joking. <laughs> this shirt is so smooth. I'm not lying, Chrissy knows, you can ask her. <laughs> Yo, I'm so dead. But anyways, look at these shoes, they're so cute. Oh my God. Chrissy, they're cute, right? Perfect beige tone, right girl? Girl, let's open up our order together since we have the exact same thing. Like, what in the hell? How did this shit happen? Like, Chrissy just got a whole ass new, like, spring freaking wardrobe. Like, you're welcome, Chrissy. I just made your capsule wardrobe for springtime. For free? God damn. <laughs> you better wear all this shit. That's all I gotta say. Get this belt. I wanted, like, an accent belt. This is so cute. Okay, I don't wanna show y'all too much. I don't wanna show y'all too much because then when you guys watch the live, I wouldn't even see all that. Then they can't be grateful. What's this one? Ooh, okay, this dress, girl, you cannot see this dress. You gotta wait for this one because this is fire. Chrissy, tell them. Tell them how fire this dress is. Chrissy, don't, don't you be telling them my secrets, girl. Ooh, the material is so nice. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Shea. I love you so much. <laughs> this feels really nice and it's like double layered. I got this like long white dress. I don't want to show you guys this because I feel like I'm showing out too much. Okay, I think I know what this one is and I'll show you guys this one. So I ended up getting this top where it like, I think it does like a, yeah, it does like a crisscross vibe at your neck. So it's kind of hard to show you guys. But anyways, it does this. And then it does like a crisscross vibe by your neck. Very pretty, a really nice vacation top and I also want to show you guys pieces that don't scream vacation because then you guys can't use it you know what I mean like for other things so I'm choosing things that specifically are for like for you guys to use for a vacation but also for every day these are just so cute especially if you're gonna do walking you still need to like be in a cute shoe but like oh my god even the soles they're so bendable I feel like this is the bougie sandal the bougie like basic type of sandal especially for vacation so that is perfect check the day it is today oh my god it's the best day of the year my birthday i'm just <laughs> well today is march 11 okay pisces where are you y'all have to speak up you guys have to speak up in the comments where are my pisces sisters actually one of you has my exact birthday so we're literally birthday twins i'm so excited because i'm going to bring you guys along today i just finished getting ready i just filmed a reel for you guys I'm kind of debating what to do about dinner because normally we come back and check up on her but like I'm just kind of thinking of doing everything in one. Kind of dressed in a way where like it can still be like a dinner type of vibe. This bag I actually wore for my birthday last year. You can even go back and go see that reel. I wore this bag and what a weird thing because I literally was going to sell this on Shop My Closet. But like with my new style, I feel like it is perfect. It fits every single thing, even my portable charger. I'm gonna or my portable charger, yeah, portable charger, with me just because I'm filming with my phone and not my camera. Which, by the way, my camera just freaking fell inside of a stone vase, and I was like, oh my god, I'm like, oh my god, the lens is ruined. Not one scuff. Like the birthday luck is coming through. Thank you so much, and thank you God for finally giving me some sun because you know your girl deserves it. So I don't know, I don't know what you were doing the last four years. Like, what did I do? What did I do? Sorry, I'm not mad at you, God. I'm not, I'm not. The room is still a little bit like cloudy, but I can see the sun, girl. It's, girl, it's over there. What? It's just shining because it's like, you know what? Today is a special day, and for the past four years, we haven't given her a nice day. So today is the day we're going to. And the Shein bodysuit. Love this bodysuit. Now I have this bodysuit in like four different colors. It is so nice. It is a spring and summer must have. This is going to be my video. 1000% have my Amazon jacket um unfortunately like it's still eight degrees today so it's still pretty chilly so I'm not able to just like throw a sweater over top of me and then I have my Amazon trousers I love these trousers so much they're so comfortable so flowy they look such good quality as well like my coach bag and I went through seven different options of earrings but I'm sorry I'm obsessed with these earrings I've worn them so many times they're from H&M I don't think they have them anymore. Last time I looked up like my order and I tried to find a link for you guys. I don't think that they had them, but I found a lot of similars on Shein. So I'm going to link them for you guys. Or a tiny bit of this mascara that 
um, YSL actually sent over to me, but I only put it at the ends because you know me, I'm not a mascara person. But I love my outfit. I honestly didn't plan it. I say I'm going to plan it, but I'm the type of like my outfits just get planned in the moment, you know, and it's also what I'm feeling. So I'm not really looking for too much today, but there's some things that I'm looking for at the back of my head, but like just very, very few, honestly. But I'm just excited to go out to shop. My stomach is growling so freaking bad. I wanted to say something else and I feel like I'm like forgetting. Maybe I'll remember. And anything I get today, I'm going to do like a little haul for you guys. But I don't know what we're going to come across today. I don't know what we're going to find. So but the low bun is on fleek. Like it has to be really nice and tightly laid down. Okay, girl? Like everything has to be perfect. When we do the low bun, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. We pull out the wax. We pull out the hairspray. We pull out the two brushes three actually i have three brushes for when i do a low bun I have three hair ties in my hair it's not a joke you think that this low bun is a joke it's not i think i'm just hungry right now i just want to have a good time with my sisters shop and eat and drink and eat and shop and drink and eat and shop and drink and eat like what else could a girl want The color of it is I so really nice. Like That's so nice. The black one. I was looking at oh, yeah, this, but there's but necklaces. It's double chain. Yeah, but check if it's actually connected though. The bags are cute. So cute. The girl said that there's a bigger one in this, but I don't see where the bigger one is. I'd say just buy just it. Take it? No, take it's it and put amazing. it in and try it on the fitting room, but I think you'll look amazing in it. Amy, it's, your side of Zara is to the no, left, to the left. Zara has switched gears. I'm no, sorry. this has always been Zara. Okay, well, I'm gonna clock out. So I, I'm about these shoes right over here. Are these Mary Jane's? Okay. Yeah, that is very this, cute. That's it. El chile de tu hombre. Yes, that's very cute. Oh my god, this is so cute. She said they just got it in popularity. Come on, Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> just got. No, I was not expecting you. Biker game. No, it's just just, come. Come. just get, It's yeah. giving a Little House on the Prairie. Like, but see if I got a smaller size. It's giving Little nice. Little Hole on the Prairie. Yes. <laughs> yes. Not the confidence going down. You're supposed to feel good in the fitting room, like I did in the Zara lighting. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm taking the blame for this. <laughs> She's crying. And she's... Jessica, let's see that address again. <laughs> no, it does look like you're gonna make bread in the bakery. You're fired, like honestly. She's crying. <laughs> Somebody's wondering why we're tying you in the dress. I think you're gonna make bumps up. Yeah. Excuse me, Singora, can I get my next dress? <laughs> I don't even know it's the link. It's this. It's this. It looks like a bakery. Just like a, I'm no. trying to find your feet. Stick on your foot. <laughs> <laughs> this looks Yo, like a well, Why do I feel like we could make it work if no, something's more adjusted? <laughs> See, this is this was me from like 2022. I'm not that girl anymore. Oh, I'm that girl. See? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but this is tacky. No, tacky. That yes. is nice. Okay, you're going to regret that in about six months Amy, to a year. I'm not the one that chose Little House on the Prairie dresses for Jessica. <laughs> My plain t-shirts are long. So I know you can't. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're not going to Miami. I like the New York. Are you? No. Hey, I sold that on Chop My Closet. Somebody bought it. Like it. Oh, 
really approve. Ma'am, can I get a medium, please? She said, ma'am, can I get a medium, please? And she looked at me like this. She's like, she thought it was a girl. Holy hell. That's if you go to Vegas. Like, I'm sorry, but that's a moment. You better shake your tail feather. Did I just hear Steph was right? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at how beautiful my sissy looks. Wow. Wow. Hey guys, it's the next day after my birthday and it was such a good day yesterday, honestly. Just spending time with my sisters and we had such a good time. Chop was really good, even though they didn't make my steak um, rare. They made it more like medium. I want to do a little haul for you guys for the stuff that I got. I brought my like aesthetic tote in my car too so that I can put everything in it. I cannot live without my tote. It's sold out though because y'all sold it out. Thank you guys so much. I ended up first getting this belt from Dynamite actually. I was really looking for a super wide belt because I noticed that like chunky statement belts look just so classy. Especially when you don't know what to wear. If you have like a white jean on, you put on this belt and you have a black bodysuit. Like it's like a go-to outfit that you can use all the time. So I love that it was like slim, not like too chunky in terms of like the buckle. But I, <laughs> not it smacking that on the face. So I got this. This was only $19. And at Dynamite, guys, I was getting discounts like at pretty much every store that I went to. I'm like, do you guys do a discount like for the birthdays or do you guys do anything for birthdays, I said. And she said, yeah, if you have the app and you have your birthday in there, you actually get 25% off one item. So I got 25% off that. That's all I got from Dynamite, though. I was getting discount on discount on discount. Better watch, though. So after Chop, actually, we were near the outlet. So it was like this little outlet area. And Jessica's like, you know what? Since we finished dinner early, we kind of wanted to go to Old Navy. But I didn't see an Old Navy at Mapleview. So I came across this shoe. And I feel like it's a really good style shoe. I normally don't go for these shoes. But that was with my older style. Now with the newer style, I feel like the dad chunky shoe, I can only do it if I'm doing like a super casual outfit. I needed something a little bit more sleek, a little bit more sophisticated, elevated, casual, kind of like dress down sneaker. But I got a size six. They were $39.99, but they were 40% off. And then I looked on my app. I swear luck was on my side yesterday. And I had a $7 like gap thing. So I ended up paying $20. For these all these shoes that have like a backing they hurt the back of my foot but these guys have stretch to them like the fabric actually has stretch and it's a soft fabric it's not a hard fabric so i tried them on and i'm like oh i feel like i could walk a good amount in these you know so I ended up getting these guys urban planet had such a nice i have to keep this away from her because of the fabric urban planet had such a nice long black skirt and yes i do already have two of them but Every time I get skirts, they never go down to my feet. I only have one that goes down to my feet, but it's more of a shiny fabric. In such a nice, like, regular casual fabric, but it's like that fabric that, like, clings to your body, which I love. I don't know, I just felt so... I don't think I have a skirt that I feel like this, this, this comfortable in. Like, it's so nice. $12.50. Got it in a medium, because the small would have been, like, super fitted, and I'm not really wearing stuff like that anymore. This still grabs my body, but I mean, it's not, like, super, like snug and tight i don't like that and then i really love like linen cotton blouses i really got into them last summer honestly 
and I do have like a taupe one from Joe Fresh, but it's so thick that I realized I like when they're sheer because there's something about it that is just not as solid and not as like bulky. Came across this one and it was the last one just like hanging there at the top. That was the one that like just, was it the last one? I think it was the last in my size. I think that's what it was. But she was like grabbing the thing and like the pole trying to take it down. And I'm just like, and the girl's like, I'm coming, I'm coming. And this was $16. So what I was gonna say was it was buy one, get the other one 50. So I got this one for 16 and I got the skirt for six dollars and 25 cents so i got those two guys and then i think i mentioned that i needed to get some new pants and there's ones from each and that i'm looking for and they ended up having them there they always have these pants hanging up somewhere in the store so i got these they were 23.99 and i had a 20 percent off discount thing on my h&m thing so i didn't even bother asking about the birthday thing i was just getting discount on discount on discount yesterday so these are 24 dollars and they're basically these like creamy beige but they have like a flare at the bottom but they're like a super comfortable like stretchy material these are the types of pants i feel like i'm missing i only have like one for example in this kind of style but it's so nice you guys um i can also leave the links down below for you guys because i feel like this is a really good basic must have and then amy found this set at zara and i think i showed some footage of it and i was really like i hope this set fits me because typically when i go for these pants they don't so i ended up getting a medium in the top because if i went for the small it wouldn't allow like the silhouette that it's supposed to show especially on this like the swoop detail i love 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 pieces that have a textured material i feel like texture is such a great way to like get a little bit of a balance something for people to look at but not too much going on you know but then it has like a ruched detail on the side. I think I took some footage to show you guys how it looked on me. And then these pants are such a good like bikini cover up. And Evie and Amy was like, oh my God, you're so right. Because they're they're quite like on the thin, like sheer type of side. But uh, hey, 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 what are we doing? What? Oh, why are you going for my shoe? That makes no sense. She's staring at the shoe. She's like, Nyla, why are you obsessed with this? What are you doing? Nyla, what are you doing? Anyways, I ended up going for these pants. They're such... She just took the receipt and ran off with it. I'm glad I love these because I won't be returning them. Bendeja! Dejalo! Don't touch! Desha, get out! Go! Let's say you have to go out for the day and you want to wear like your bikini underneath but you know like you're going to be going out to dinner or like a really pretty lunch after you can wear this as a set with your bikini underneath but you can still look very dressed up maybe bring a different sandal a little bit of jewelry and you can easily like pop it on that's just something i would do girl i'm just i'm just helping a girl out it's like textured look to them again it's just so european it's so beachy so vacation nyla what are you biting does anybody want to babysit Nyla? Anybody out there? This was like a black sandal and some gold chunky earrings. Just so vacation with your beautiful like classy tote and your sunglasses. You have fresh lip gloss on. You have a fresh face on. Everything is glowing. You got your tan going on. I need a vacation. I can hear the waves right now. It feels like I'm so far away. <laughs> God, this was the last thing I got. Yeah, I cannot wait to show the Shein outfits. I'm filming the video this week, like I mentioned. So I'm going to have a new vlog for you guys, a new Shein video. And I really want to do, people have been asking me for a basic Shein haul. Like my absolute favorite Shein basics, like things from them I can't live without because I feel like those are the things that you can add to your cart and know for a fact like they're going to be so good you know what i mean whereas like other hauls you want to get it because like you guys might see it on me but you're not sure if you'll like it i want to do a video where it's like get this sheet and product because you will not regret it you know what i mean that are 10 out of 10s like you're not going to regret them so if you're excited for that let me know down below because i always get super hyped up when i know you guys are excited like it just gives me that like extra motivation you know what i mean so i decided i'm gonna finish it you guys <laughs> because you guys were like just finish it she's stunning don't put it to waste i'm like i know trust me like i freaking know but it's just you know 
So I just finished like touching up all the little areas over there and I'm just gonna do like a second coat. And once that's done, I'm gonna go in for the wood grain and I think I should definitely seal the top. I think it looks too gorgeous for me to like just scratch this project, like come on. It looks so nice, let me turn it so you guys can see. So I'm gonna fix it and I'll show you guys once it is done and put in its place. The other little update in here was that I moved this um, artwork that I had inside of my den over here because I feel like I like it over here a lot better and I just kind of over that painting. It's very like minimal modern mid-century and I kind of want something a little bit more like sophisticated in here. I think I am going to switch up the painting because I want to have something a little bit more like on the warm side to match my nightstand. And I also already put these pillow covers that I got from my duvet set that I got. Um, from Amazon, but I haven't put on the duvet yet. I want the bedroom to come along a little bit further before I put the fresh duvet, you know what I mean? But everything is slowly coming together. I'm still not sure of my night lamp. I have one in my Amazon cart, but I'm not sure if I want to go that route or if I want to go like more minimal. So I guess we'll see what happens. I ended up finishing the table, you guys. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I am so done with this nightstand. I am glad that it's over with because it was very tedious, honestly. I'm glad that I learned how to do it, but yeah, it was definitely very tedious. I feel like because I feel like I should have painted all the pieces before. So if you're gonna paint something like this, paint each piece before you build it. It would have been such a big help and I would have had a lot more control of the paint. But whatever, she is done. She looks gorgeous. Like, look at her. I put that little mini vase that I um, did with you guys in my um, last vlog because it is just so classy. But it is slowly, slowly coming together. I ended up getting a little bit of paint on my duvet over there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have to wash it. I'm really happy with how she turned out. Like, I cannot believe, like, just, like, the look of it. I can't believe it. I feel like most people, if they saw this, they would think, like, I bought it like this. But she is finally done. Let me know what you guys think. I don't want to see any comments saying you should have just left it white. <laughs> don't do that to me, girl. Do not do that to me. The white was so ugly. It was, like, such a like fresh white, it needed some sort of color. And tables in this driftwood color, you guys already know, they go from like $300 to $900. And I got this for $70. So now that it's done, I can just appreciate how much money I saved, um, even though it was a bit of work, but I'm in love with her. I will say you guys that in the next vlog, because I just cannot hold it in, like I wanna just say it out in this vlog, but I'm like, no, the time is not correct. I feel like in the next vlog, I feel like that's when I wanna mention it. Um, the thing that I was talking to you guys before that I want to like tell you guys and I'm so excited because I feel like you guys are a big part of it and it's a big deal for me. It might not be a big deal for you but it's a big deal for me and it's something I've been wanting for a very long time. We'll mention that in the next vlog. I'm so excited because yeah like I all I'm gonna say is I want you guys to be a big part of it that's all I'm gonna say very excited if you're looking forward to that for the next vlog also give this video a like hopefully you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys enjoyed going along on my birthday day with me I tried to share as much as I could while still like enjoying I feel like I always say that to you guys but it's just the truth I like to obviously like enjoy me with my sisters but also share it with you guys at the same time you know what I mean because I don't get that all the time like having both of them Leave some love down below because I absolutely love reading all your comments. Like when the video goes live, I literally am like waiting for your comments. So please leave some love down below and I definitely will get back to you. I'm very good with my comments. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video. See you guys.